Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving if you're having an issue when you are perhaps using a Discord application or different applications on your computer, where it says application path, and it'll have a path name, and it says elapsed execution time, give you some information that really shouldn't make too much sense to most people. And again, it's the exception access violation error message. So we're going to go about how to hopefully resolve this problem, and we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the search icon, type in control panel, Best result should go back with control panel. Go ahead and open that up. You want to set your view by over here to large icons. And then you want to select system. Now scroll down on the right and select advanced system settings. You can close out of the other windows now at this time if you want, just so we can declutter our screen a little bit. And you want to select underneath performance, visual effects, processor scheduling, memory usage, and virtual memory. Go ahead and select the settings button. And now select the data execution prevention tab. And you want to select turn on DEP for all programs and services except those I select. And then go ahead and select the add button. Now you want to go ahead and select to the directory of the folder that you're having the problem with. So if it's an application, you likely would go underneath your local disk or wherever you have your programs installed generally. So if you have another drive that you install your programs, you want to go ahead and navigate to that disk. And then program files times 86 typically it could be the other program files, just the one without the parentheses on it too. And just go ahead and select the folder and then open and then navigate to the file, specifically the executable or the setup file. Um, from what it appears that this error is normally attributed to. So you just go ahead and select the file you're having the problem with and then select open. And that's pretty much it. So once it's populated in this list, you just select add and then apply and OK to save the change. You will need to reset your computer for that to take effect. And that's pretty much it. So pretty straightforward process, guys. And you know what, if you're still having an issue, you can also try reinstalling the application as well, or making sure you're using the correct one for your version of Windows. If you're using a 64-bit version of Windows, so if you're on Windows 11, you're definitely running a 64-bit version of Windows. Make sure you're getting the proper download for that. And that's pretty much it, basic stuff. You can also try System Restore as well. You know, that's possible, and you can search my channel for a tutorial on that if you are unsure of how to do it. But pretty straightforward process, guys. Do a was able to help you out. Again, you will need to restart your computer in order for that to take effect, so let's actually go ahead and restart it. I do like to show them in these videos because I'm concerned that a lot of people don't actually restart their computer before commenting that it doesn't work. So let's go ahead and actually restart our computer here, and then we will conclude the video. And there we go, guys. Pretty simple. And I do hope I was able to help you out. And as always, thank you for watching. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.